What's up guys, Seattle Gamer here, back with another Saturday morning bonus video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of those pesky black bars that sometimes happen on the sides or top and bottom of your videos when you upload them to YouTube. So it's very simple to do, it doesn't take very long, and I believe it adds quite a bit of quality to those videos. So for this, you will need an image manipulation program. If you don't have one, don't fret, there's some really great free alternatives out there which I'll link down below. We'll talk about that a little bit later here. You will also need a video editor that is capable of using layers. If you don't have that, however, I will also show you how to do this using OBS which is a free video capturing software as, as well as a broadcasting software as well. I'm breaking this video up into two parts. The first bit will show you how to create a custom background for your video and the second part will show you how to edit that video and put that custom background behind it. Before we get into that however, I'm going to show you a few quick clips of what this will show what the end result of this video will be. So the first one here shows you the video with the black bars on the sides. Some people don't mind it. I think it looks a little bit tacky. It's personal preference. That's what we're trying to get rid of. This happens every time you upload something to YouTube that's not in a 16 by 9 format. It'll stretch it in order to hit the sides or the top and bottom and then it'll fill the rest with black. That's what we're trying to get rid of right now. The first way you can get rid of it is by stretching it. Now as you can see, this will mess up the aspect ratio of your image and make it look very kind of wonky. Yes, you can do this. Depends on the video. Personally, I don't like it. Some games lend themselves to this better than others. That's your call. Now the third clip is what we're trying to accomplish today. As you can see, there's a static background image behind it. It looks very neat and it just works very well. So this is what I'm going to show you guys how to do today. And then there's a fourth thing you can do, which is add a video background. I'm not going to show you guys how to do this in this video, but if you're interested, let me know and I'll do a video for you guys on this as well. It's kind of cool. You get to play around with some cool stuff if you do it that way. Anyways, let's get into the first part of this tutorial, which is how to make that image. I am using GIMP, which is a free program, so I will link that down below. There's a few other free ones I'll link as well if you want to check a few out. I suggest you kind of mess around with it, get a feel of what the tools do, look through all of the cool stuff you can do up here at the top, maybe watch a few different tutorial videos, kind of familiarize yourself with it. But first off, let's go to File and New. Now, you want to make your image size 16 by 9. There's two really good ones that you've probably heard of, 1080p, which is 1920 width, by 1080 height, you can do that one if you want, or you can also do 720p, which is 1280 by 720, which is what I have set up here as well. There's a few other like 1600 by 900, but I suggest you stick to 720p or 1080p. So we're gonna create a new image here. It gives us just a blank image. So this, this is what we're gonna be working with here. And I'm gonna go to File, Open as Layers, and I'm gonna open my logo and Open, nope, not location, sorry, open as layers, and I'm going to put a background. So these are just things that I found beforehand that I wanted to do. So now before we get into this, you'll see on the right, it added them as layers. So I can turn these on and off and in order to do whatever I want. We're going to add one more layer really quickly, but before we do that, we need to see what size our video is. So a good way to do that is find your video, click on it. Oh, I don't want to play it. Click on it, and in the bottom right, it'll show you the width and the height. Realm of the Mad God is 800 by 600, so we're going to go here to New Layer, and we're going to call this Video, and we're going to make it 800 width by 600 height, and I'm going to make it the foreground color, which is black right here, just to make it easy. So we're going to move this up a layer. So this is the representation of your video. Now I want this centered. So I'm going to use this tool. This is the alignment tool. So double click the alignment tool. Click on the layer you want to align, which is our video layer, right? Now click on it. And I want to align it relative to the image. So what this is going to do is it's going to make it centered 
with the image by clicking this one and then centered this way with the image. So now it's nice and in the center. You could keep it like this if you want and not stretch it. I like to stretch it just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that layer's selected, go here to layers, scale layer, and I'm gonna put the height to 720. This will stretch this image to the right height. If you keep this link here attached, you'll see that it also stretches the width. So it's not gonna change your aspect ratio, but it will give you a nice uh, scale here. This is what I like to do. You, you can keep it centered if you want. So now I wanna add my logo on top of this. As you can see, it is huge. So I'm gonna make sure it's selected. Go to layer, scale layer, and we're gonna just guess. We're gonna say 180 or so and scale it. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna go here to the move tool. You can also click M and I'm gonna move it down into the corner. That's looking pretty spiffy there. So at this point, you have a completed background. You can do whatever you want to it. I personally like to add a border. Also, it shows off some cool stuff you can do. So I'm gonna do that for you guys really quickly. I click on my video, select color tool. I'm gonna select this here. That puts this little selection around this. I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna make it transparent. And I'm gonna put it just under the other layer. Now go up here to selection, go to grow. And I'm gonna grow it by, yeah, 10 sounds about right. So as you can see, that grew it here a little bit. That looks a little bit too much. I'm gonna actually shrink it by five. All right, so that looks not as good. Let's go back, go back, and we're just gonna grow it five. There we go, so that looks pretty good. So now with that, I'm going to select a new color here. I have cyan, which is my channel color. I go with the pencil tool, and I'm just gonna make it huge and fill this in. So as you can see, it creates a nice little border here for us. You could also use the bucket fill tool if you want to fill that in. So now, as you can see, the video layer is on top of the this, uh, this kind of cyan layer here. So the video got printed on top. If I change that to underneath, it'll now be underneath. That's how the layering works. I'm gonna go select none. So this is what it's gonna look like and I'm just gonna move this over just a slight bit. This logo, make sure it's selected, move it over. That's looking pretty good. So this is what I want. Now there's a few cool things you can do with it. Right now I have the video portion black so I can see where to put it in my video program. If you want to though, you can make it a different color. This will really stand out. If you miss and you misalign it, you'll see green on the outside so you know where to put it. So you could do that as well, or you could make it this color and then you know it won't matter where you put it. If it's off a little bit, it'll still look fine. I'm gonna make mine black. We're gonna go here to File, Export. And we're gonna export this to wherever you want. So in my Pictures folder as four by three template, uh, we'll call it four by three background template. All right, we're gonna export that, and this doesn't matter, just export it. All right, now we have a saved image. You can get rid of all that, save it, whatever you want. I'm gonna get rid of that. And now we have a background that we can put into our, our video and spruce it up a little bit. So I'm gonna start the second part of our tutorial here which is how to do the video editing. For this, I'm gonna start by using Sony uh, Movie Studio Platinum 13. This works just like any other video editing program with layers, so if you don't have this one, don't fret, you can still do the same thing. Here is the background that I wanna use that I added in. I also have my video and the intro, I added the intro. So I'm gonna add the video into here. It's gonna populate in our timeline, so, as you can see, the video is up here at the top. These are the video layers. Underneath it are the audio layers. We're not gonna mess with those. We're just gonna move this guy up, up a level, because we wanna put the background underneath. We wanna put it underneath. So the image is gonna print on top, or the video is gonna print on top, and the image is gonna be underneath. So, and then I'm just gonna scroll this over 
so that it's underneath all of our video. Now, when we go and look at the video here, you'll see that it prints our 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 uh sorry our video right on top and it put this behind if we switch those places which i'll do now let's see we'll switch these all you will see is this guy so which is no bueno you want this guy on the bottom and i probably just screwed myself up here add another track there we go so now we have the video on top and now you can edit everything that you need here and you have your background so it's pretty easy just make sure that you put it behind this guy and you won't have any issues with that now the second way you can do it is when you record directly from a program like OBS so I'm gonna open up OBS here so if you look down here there's the scenes I have one set up for when I stream realm with a mad god in this scene I have three different sources one is a text that shows what server I'm on. The second is the game capture. You'll notice these are also layers. So the game capture is on top of my background. So if we hit preview stream here, oh, uh, let's just ignore it. If we, you'll see I didn't stretch this one, but if I had Run of the Mad God open, it would be right here. So how you do that, we're gonna stop this preview, is you go here, you right click, you hit add, image and then call it whatever you want awesome and then hit browse and find the image that you want your background and you add it and it will look like this it'll say the image here and then you can mess with all this if you want just make sure your game capture is set up and it is on top of it and then from here you can start recording right here just click start recording it'll start recording your video and it will have the background image below it already anyways i hope you guys hope you guys found this useful sorry i'm englishing bad right now so if you did or if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below i'll try and help you guys with any problems you guys have doing this it really doesn't take very long once you set it up, and I think it really adds a lot to your guys' videos. So like I said, I hope you found this useful. If you have any more suggestions or want me to do a video on how to do audio editing, video editing, YouTube type stuff, whatever you guys wanna see, let me know down below, and if I select it, I'll let you know and make a video for you guys. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.